Also was gibt es denn so für Spiele? Gut, 1300? Nee. Nee. Ja gut. Nee. Dann machen wir mal... Gibt ja äh, Boosts. Für Inside Scorer. Ne, hier. Für ein Spiel 200. Holen wir uns einen Boost. Und für Inside Scorer vielleicht. Athlete. Plus 5 für Dank aus dem Stand. Dank aus der Bewegung. Geschwindigkeit, Schnelligkeit. Und für Inside Scorer. Holen wir uns auch nochmal. Für 200 äh, einen Boost für ein Spiel. Und dann machen wir das nächste Spiel. Gegen wen es auch immer sein wird. Ich hoffe, es wird äh, kein schweres Spiel, denn ich muss punkten. Und es war eigentlich die perfekte Gelänge gegen Philadelphia, nur einfach sind die, die Würfe sind einfach nicht gefallen. Und ich würde so gerne bei den Hornets bleiben, die, weil die gefallen mir eigentlich. Spielen wir jetzt eigentlich nochmal gegen Philadelphia? Das wäre nämlich irgendwie logisch. Ich lasse mich überraschen. Gegen Indiana. Easy. Oh, okay, vielleicht ist es doch gar nicht so übel. Weil wir... Ja, ich... Okay, wir führen aber noch. Pacer sind aber durchaus noch da. Let's now take a look at some league leaders with the rundown of the best passing big men in the NBA over the past month. Number five, Al Jefferson. Well, it takes tremendous feel for the game to be able to make the passes these big guys are capable of making out of that low post area. Absolutely, Steve. I mean, these fellas play in the high traffic area on the court, so the passing lane... Yes, I'll take a point. ...than they are out on the perimeter. Not nearly as much room. Stevenson. Last doubting for Charlotte, they won that game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And you know what was most impressive? They wasted very few possessions in that game. They ran their offense close to perfection. Okay. That's what we call the mute button game in front of a hostile crowd. They never let the fans get into it. Had them on their hands the whole time. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. Oh, scheiße. Jetzt habe ich auch noch einen Reach in verursacht. Das ist scheiße. And Gary Neal subbed in for Lance Stevenson. And Miles kicks to Skull. Pass to Miles. Six to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Stucky. The jumper from the free throw line is good. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. For Charlotte, they've gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. There's a screen by Williams. Dock the pass to Williams. Pulls up. Sehr schön, zumindest habe ich Punkte dafür bekommen. Okay. Charlotte in the lead. CJ Watson at 6'2 is an outstanding shooting combo guard. He's an excellent marksman from behind the three-point line, which helps his team space the floor. Was? Sind das für? Miles dishes to Watson. Scola sets a screen. Ich mache mich nicht gerade beliebt hier. 
Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. And I'm agreeing with you there. Once they opened the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it. Those can turn over. Why not? Come. Screen by Jefferson. Lock at six. Goes to the reverse lane. Kriegen das ist für yes. Sehr gut. His first make here in four tries to start this game. Pacers have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And again, it's Luis Scola. Scola's got his second bucket. 16 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here is Doc. Right now averaging five points a game. Target at the rim. Scheiße. Das Ge ist scheiße. Ich verkack's nämlich immer. So. Okay, wir sind zwei vorne. Das some bench production tonight that's made an impact here. Tell us how the depth has shaped the team's mentality and identity. Well, we're a complete team. You know, from top to bottom, we got guys on the bench that are just as good as our, our starting five. We can go out there and produce. And defensively, we keep this up, we'll be all right tonight. Roy, well done. Team effort. Guys, back to you. Thank you, so. Yeah, give me my right, huh? All right, guys. I want to go over some things before we get back out there. We've done a nice job of getting everyone involved in the offense. Our passing has been heads up and unselfish. That's something I'd like to see even more of. Ball security was probably our high point. Let's continue to keep a tight handle on the ball and not try to thread too many needles with our passes. And a point of focus has to be offensive rebounding from now on. I'm not as worried about our transition defense as I am about us missing out on second chance points because they are there for us. If we go out there and show the killer instinct I know we have, this is not a team that can stay with us. Let's up that intensity. That's club, boss. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half. Getting under Two minutes into the second half of play now. On the court right now for the Pacers. Down low, Weston Hibbert. The backcourt, Hill and Miles. And it's Copeland in at the three. Stevenson kicks to Jefferson. And Hibbert with the block. Okay, das lief jetzt nicht so gut. Aber ich fange noch mit drei. Doc, he's checked in for Charlotte. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey Kevin, during that last break I heard Frank Vogel addressing his team. He told his guys that their offense needed to run through West. Coach is looking for big things from him throughout the rest of this game on the offensive end. A lot of the scoring burden will fall on him. He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them, don't rush things. Use as much of that shot clock as you need to. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive. Schlechte yeah. Wurf. All right, Doris. Das ist wohl wahr. Tipped away. Right wing. Come, Lienz. Kennst du noch Copeland von seinen alten Jahren aus Indiana? Copeland can't hit. Hornets leading by three. Here is Doc. Right now averaging five points a game. Charlotte moving it around. Bonley, the pass to Kid Gilchrist. And it's Miles with the rebound. Miles has got three rebounds so far in the game. Hill dishes to Miles. Plenty of space. That's good on the jump shot. Okay, I got some one uh, two, two points. Second half here, we're just over three and a half minutes into it. CJ Miles originally was drafted right out of high school by the Utah Jazz. Sehr schön. And even though he's in his 10th season in the NBA, he's still only 28 years old. Hill drives in. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Shot no good. 
So Indiana will take it the other way. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. And guys, had their free throw shooting been anywhere near up to par, I think it would have changed everything in that game. No doubt about it. I mean, there is a carryover effect when you're not having success at the line. It infiltrates other okay, okay. parts of your game. Okay, okay. Also, it's good. And it's Miles missing. And CJ Miles really still embracing his three-point shot more in the last couple seasons, which in turn has helped his shooting efficiency. Session. Solid defender. You know, if he can continue to make those threes at close to 40%, you know, there will always be a place for him in the NBA because he, he's a two-way guy. He can defend wings and knock down perimeter shots. It's a valuable asset in the NBA. Three on three. Kid Gilchrist, the pass to Doc. Stevenson kicks to Vonley. Here is Doc. Bit in block. Uh, pick. Vonley at the elbow. Here's Doc. Drains the 19 foot. Sehr schön. Now it's a seven point Hornets lead. Das dürfte eine gute Bewertung geben. Sechs Punkte bisher. Zwei Assists. Komm, Marien. Sehr schön. Kick den Stil. Wenn wir noch einen Stil bekommen. Hill dishes to West. Got that one on the move. West has got eight. You can see that they're not as aggressive. Okay, das war ein guter, guter Assist. So ein schöner Pass. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the dish to Vonley. Here's Doc. And that one's good. Sehr schön. Ich sollte ich mir öfter mal so einen Boost holen. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. That Copeland, okay. Pretty, pretty <laughs> get hyped? <laughs> no. To where the open man was. With one on the clock, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Ah, okay. Schade. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because... Okay, yeah, ja, der war wirklich, der war wirklich schön. Der sollte auch wirklich uh, assist of the game werden. Da habe ich gar kein Problem mit. But putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know, huge. Yeah, no question. Wake up, son. You're in. Oh, it's time to ball. <laughs> Wake up, son. Oh, noch zwei Minuten zu spielen und wir sind viel hinten. Dann macht ihr jetzt mal ein Zwei oder ein Dreier. Also macht ihr jetzt mal zwei Punkte oder drei Punkte. Dann warte ich jetzt mal von euch. So kann das ja auch nichts werden. Warte, rein als Point Guard gegen Roy. Ach nee, okay. Das war gerade ein wenig irreführend. Here's West. A Hornets pull it in. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. The Pacers pull it in. Hill's got his third rebound tonight. 106 left in the fourth. Come, show me a block. Here is Doc. He's guarded by Hill. Oh God, a turnover or not? Side Hill. He feeds it to Copeland off the screen. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Nine. That's is gar nicht gut. Okay. 
Ah, jetzt werde ich rausgenommen. Alter. Pass, pass hin. Macht er denn? Okay. Vier Punkte. Vier Punkte. Fünf. Na okay, jetzt gehen natürlich auch bei mir drei Punkte nicht rein. Ich will aber auf jeden Fall noch vielleicht nochmal punkten. Also das Spiel ist verloren, das ist klar. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. The Pacers making it two. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and Stevenson kicks to Roberts, and the Hornets miss again. Now Hill. Scheiße. Ach. Ordentlich. A minus. Ist klar, Freunde. Gehalt 125. Okay. Verlassen wir das wieder. Meine Güte. 